David mentioned, I think there's just been so much that has gone on this year that maybe we couldn't have predicted. Right? There's been a lot of uncertainty going on in the world. We've been through a global pandemic where HR really came to the forefront to help organizations kind of navigate through that uncertainty. But now that hopefully we're seeing that pandemic receding, we're still seeing a lot that companies are, are dealing with. As, as David said, there's a lot of forecasts coming out uh, from economists at the moment around whether we're on the brink of a recession in many countries. We saw that there was the, the war in Ukraine that, that continues. We're seeing rising inflation, a cost of living crisis, significant layoffs going on across many companies as well. And so with all of this going on, this role of HR is, is arguably more important than ever. And so if we come to you now, Dave, like how do you think HR can continue to play this, this pivotal role and help to create some certainty for employees and, and leaders in a world where we're just seeing so much uncertainty? You know, I love the discussion so far. If I could put a capstone on it, context is the kingdom and the context is changing in ways we don't know. That's technology, it's energy, it's inflation, it's, it's all those things that are changing. Content then becomes the kingdom or the action that we have to manage um, or the king that we have to manage or the queen. I think David said it beautifully. The only thing we're certain about is uncertainty. I'm going to put an addendum to that. In a world of uncertainty, don't chase the uncertainty. Focus on certainty. And so what I love to say to folks is, what are we in this unchanging and uncertain world certain about in HR? And let me hypothesize a few things. We are certain that the way we manage our people makes a difference. We just talked about some of the trends, the skilling trends, the employee primacy trends, the people agency trends. We're certain that if we manage those things, we will make a difference. We're also certain that if we build the right organization, not just the human ca capital, that's the people, but the organizational capability. If we build a sustainable organization, ERG, if we build an agile organization, an innovative organization, if we build the right culture, we'll succeed. And we're also certain that if we manage leadership, we'll be more effective. So my sense is in HR, one of the trends in the future is how do we focus on certainty in the face of uncertainty? And when we can focus on what we know around talent, organization, and leadership, no matter what happens, I can't predict next year. Who could have predicted the Ukrainian war, the energy crisis, the technology innovation? But I can predict and control to some extent the certainty of what human capability provides. Can I just pick up on the comment about layoffs? Because you did mention that, Ian. And I, I do think that's up foremost on a lot of um, HR people's minds. And I think it's a bit of a relic of an old business model. And I think it is up to HR to help rethink what the new one is, right? Um, I think layoffs were a function of when... Um, when human capital was really viewed as headcount and not skills. And, um, and companies were optimizing for efficiency rather than, for example, flexibility or adaptability, um, as Dave has just talked about. And, and, but they haven't really, the finance systems haven't really caught up with that yet. And HR tends to be sort of the subservient to the, to the finance function in that respect. And, I do think that the rise of um, opportunity marketplaces in particular and managing based on skills, we saw it happen in the recession, in, I mean, in the pandemic, right, where people were being redeployed because they were not, you know, there was no job for them during the pandemic and they were being redeployed into new areas because they had the skills to do those things. And, um, and so, I, I mean, of course, in some cases, the reason that companies are cutting back is they simply cannot afford those people. But in today's world where there's so much, um, there's so much turnover, you know, you have to imagine that you can have a sustainable model where you have more of a project based organization, not a job based organization that's based on skills, not headcount. And then the prospect of a layoff becomes sort of obsolete. Um, now, I do agree it has to sort of depend on some level of turnover, because if you don't have that and you can't afford all the headcount, then you are going to need to do something. But I think it's a bit of a knee jerk reaction right now um, based on the old model. And we've already moved in so many ways to the new model. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders 
who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe by your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.